Let's get you set at 612 on this Monday morning with your weather and don't have to wear anything too heavy today, right? No, nope, no heavy coats today. Good. And I'm even saying that. So, <laughs> if you know, I don't need a jacket today. And you know, nice. things are nice and dry. It is going to be a dry start to the week, but guess what? Rain is on the way. Let me go ahead and break down your forecast for this morning. Low 70s through 9 a.m., mid 70s as we near that lunch hour, close to 80 by noon. Later on in the afternoon by 1 o'clock, upper 70s, 2 p.m. temperatures at 80. If you're heading home from school, kiddos, mid 80s as you round out your afternoon. Parents will be close to rounding out their work day with temperatures in the 80s. It's staying high and dry across central Alabama today. And even though it's dry here now, that's all going to change very soon. Hard to believe that rain is on the way, even with as dry as the deep south is currently. But there is a cold front shaping up to our west. That cold front's going to bring us finally some rain later this week and it's going to bring us a cool down into the weekend. Right now, temperatures are holding in the upper 50s to lower mid 60s in some places like Birmingham. Coleman's at 64, Fayette, Jasper, mid to upper 50s. East Alabama, look at Anniston, 59 with 55 near Pell City at Logan Martin Lake and 65 in Sylacauga. Looking at the skies this morning, okay, if you look very, very closely, you can almost see the sunshine uh, just faintly as that sun is beginning to rise. We can start to fade. Uh, barely see the changes colors there in the sky. 67, like I mentioned, in Birmingham this morning. Upper 50s, Anniston, right around 60 in T-Town. So we'll continue to see this mild air in place. And as we roll through the afternoon, temperatures climbing into the mid 80s. How about 86 in Birmingham later today with 86 in Tuscaloosa this afternoon, 83 in Jasper, 85 down in peach country. Here's what I want to really point out about our future cast. Notice this southerly flow. We're seeing those cloud cover. They are moving from the south to the north, and that's going to help to influence our atmosphere. Basically, our air is very dry. You don't really even need me to tell you that, but it takes a lot of moisture to really saturate that air just enough to get us some rain. So winds out of the south help do that. We have a gulf down to our south, and that's going to drag in some of that moisture and help set the stage. Even though we're not going to see any rain at all, really for the next few days and temperatures remain unseasonably warm, the change starts on Thursday. Cold front arrives when you have that cold front plus all of those winds out of the south for the next few days really priming that atmosphere and then this cold front that is going to allow for some showers finally get to use the four letter word rain in the forecast and then those will continue through your Friday before clearing out through the weekend not only is that cold front going to bring some rain but it's going to bring a cool down as well check out these temperatures as we roll into the weekend Saturday and Sunday morning in the 40s with afternoon highs in the low 70s and that's a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Now, here's a check.